Hey everyone, Rich Ferguson here, and today I'm going to be teaching you 10 pranks for Easter. That's right, I said Easter, because there's never a bad time to prank your friends and family. Now make sure you smash that like button and share this with all your friends. Let's do this. For this evil prank, get yourself some of these marshmallow peeps and some hot sauce. Stick a hole in the bottom with a pen or toothpick and carve a little reservoir in the bottom and then fill it with something crazy hot. Oh, that's gonna be brutal. Wipe off the excess, then place them in an Easter basket or back in the container. Oh, an Easter basket. Oh! This next prank is cute and harmless. What you're gonna do is print out this sheet of bunny ears and you're gonna affix them to a dozen eggs in the fridge and leave them there for your mom or somebody to find. You can easily draw your own bunny ears on paper and cut them out or you can print this sheet that I've made for you. The link is in the description. It's free for you. So smash that like button. So once you cut the ear out, fold the tab over on the back and tape it to itself so you have this little area right here to attach to the top of the egg. Once you've made your ears, attach them to the top of your egg, and then you have these cute bunny ears, and then you just fill in the face here. On the sheet that I've made for you, there's an example of what you can draw. You can basically copy that or make your own. And when you're done, just place them in here and leave them in the fridge. This one's kind of evil. Get together with friends and family and have an Easter egg hunt in your backyard. But the gag is there's no Easter eggs hidden. So you watch people searching for something that's not there. And of course you can reveal it to gag and then go hide the eggs and do it accordingly. Along those same lines is inside these plastic Easter eggs, instead of candy or treats, put a note that says, try again. Or leave a couple eggs out that are obvious that have clues to other locations that are impossible and make it a scavenger hunt where at the end, there's the prize. This prank is so simple and mean. What you're gonna do is get some epoxy and put a little bead of epoxy around the edge of the seam, put it back together, and then sit back and laugh as people cannot open up these eggs. Once you've carefully closed it, put it aside and let it dry. Now once you've done a bunch of these, just leave them laying around or put them in a basket and have one that's secretly marked that you can keep track of that you can easily open up, take out the candy, and then people will not suspect anything. And then when they try, they will look like a fool. This next one is so simple and funny. Take the candy out of a plastic egg and replace it with something like Brussels sprouts, fruit, or vegetables. Oh, man. Just imagine the look on a kid's face when they open it up and that's inside. <laughs> All right, guys, five more pranks to go. Be sure to hit that like button. This next one is such a simple and awesome way to scare your brother or sister. Get yourself a basket, cut a hole in the back, or just push your hand right through the bottom of the basket, right through the material, and then when they reach in to grab the candy, your hand is there for a scary surprise. This next prank is such an evil setup. Get yourself an empty box of Pop-Tarts, maybe some Pringles, any kind of container that you could put over an egg on a shelf. And then what happens is when they pull that container off the shelf, the egg will fall and splatter on the ground. A similar idea is take an egg, stick it on top of a doorway like this, so the next person that comes to this door is gonna have an egg fall on their head. It's Easter and it's really common to have some beautiful flowers laying around, so here's a great gag to freak somebody out. What you're gonna do is get a pot and some flowers and you're gonna bury the flowers in some soil that you're gonna eat. How do you do that? Let me show you. You're gonna take some Oreo cookies and take out the white filling and crush the cookie part. You're gonna crumble it up, put it inside the container, stick the plant in it, and on top of that, even place what looks to be some pieces of rock. And then to top it off, add a little tiny bit of the white from the inside of the Oreo and sprinkle it around because that's exactly what dirt looks like because it has little white balls of fertilizer. Now once you've made it, just wait for the opportunity to reach inside and take out some of the dirt and eat it. And now you can freak your mom out. Mmm, this is some good dirt. All right guys, just a couple more to go. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and share this video. All right, here's a couple more really simple ideas for Easter. What you do is you take a regular egg and you color it just like you would with your hard boiled eggs, but mark it in a way so you can keep track of it, and then sit back and laugh as somebody probably will break it, or even hours or days later when somebody peels open what they think is a hard boiled egg and they crack a regular egg and it goes all over the place. So evil.
This one is so mean. If you're gonna make deviled eggs on Easter, because people make so many treats and appetizers with eggs on Easter, instead of mixing in mustard for the center of the egg, mix in wasabi sauce. It'll still darken it up and make it look like deviled eggs. Sprinkle on all the decorations, serve it, and sit back and laugh as people are choking on the heat. Here's a cute bonus idea for you, but first, don't you think it's kind of funny that marketing suggests that bunnies lay eggs? That's right, bunnies don't lay eggs, but they do lay poop. So here's a funny idea. Lay some chocolate Easter bunnies around on the counters and then trail behind them with little chocolate pellets or maybe even some chocolate little Easter eggs. And that's just a cute way to present some treats that's edible. Mmm. Mmm, tasty. All right, it's time for a weekly giveaway. I'm gonna give away one of my trick books. So all you gotta do is comment down below. Tell me that you've liked and shared this with your friends. I'll pick a random comment and send it off to one to you. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Now, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't because we do weekly tutorials, all kinds of pranks, magic, social experiments. It's an absolute blast. So thank you guys so much for the love and support and I'll catch you next week. Peace.